search me, search me, Lord. You can be turning to Psalm 139. This is a very short psalm. It's the camera on Ashley. Oh. I'm, I'm going to play the song so I, if we can kind of. To give honor to God, who's the head of my life, to Minister Maria, Mother Teresa, to each of you that make up the congregation this day. God is good. Psalm 139. The caption in my Bible says, Praise to the all-knowing God. And it reads, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought of far off. What a mighty God we serve. Thou compassest or surrounded my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Whither or where shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither or where shall I flee from thy presence? We can't get away from the spirit of God. The spirit of God is everywhere. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro, beholding the good and the evil. It says, if I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. That's comforting. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. You know, you can't hide in the darkness. What's done in the darkness will eventually come to the light. It says, yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. He sees us when we're in the light. He sees us when we're in the darkness. For thou hast possessed my reins, the inner parts of me. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book all my members were written, which in continuous were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! It's good that God thinks about us. There's a scripture that says, God says, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Some translation says to give you a hope and a future. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. And David could say this, Do not I hate them, O Lord, but we know Jesus said, Love them. He said, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. But the people of God, we can't be hating on people. We have to love everybody. It goes on to say, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, test me, and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. It's a good thing to ask God to search us. Because sometimes there's some things in us 
that we might not be aware of. But we need God to search them out and then take them out. Everything that's not like him. Mm -hmm. Psalm 26.2 says, examine me. Psalm 26, verse 2. Mm -hmm. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Test me. Try my reins and my <coughs> heart. The innermost being of us. God knows us better than we know ourselves. Yeah. He does too. That's why he knows what's best for us because he knows us. And even better is he loves us. Second mm -hmm. Corinthians 7. And before we get to 7 and 1 of Second Corinthians, in Second Corinthians 6, that's why he told his people, come out from among them. And be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you, and will be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Thank God for that promise. Yes. And since we have done that, verse uh, chapter 7, verse 1 says, Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, mm. let us cleanse ourselves. There's some things we've got to do too. Okay? We ask God to search us, examine us, but there's some things we've got to do. Mm -hmm. Having therefore these promises dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. So we've got to do our part. When God points out something that's not right in us, then we got to cleanse ourselves of that thing. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 13. Search me, search me, Lord. I personally don't want to be walking around here thinking I'm right when I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Proverbs says there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the ends thereof are the ways of death. I'm living this life to live again. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 13, verses 5 through 8. Now we've asked God, or through his word, I read how we're supposed to ask God to examine us. But now 2 Corinthians 13, 5 says, examine yourselves. The do? word of God is right anyhow. Examine yourselves. That's why I don't believe in just dealing with one scripture. Mm -hmm. Because if you only deal with the one that says search me and never deal with the ones where we have to examine ourselves, mm -hmm. we don't have the full picture. Mm -hmm. Okay? Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you? Except ye be reprobates, and reprobates in this context mean like counterfeit. And sometimes it means disqualified. He says, but I, the Apostle Paul is saying here, but I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. There's some things we got to know. Okay? We got to know that God is real. Yeah. And we got to know that we are real. Right. Uh huh. It says, Now I pray to God that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. Right. We're not reprobates. There are some labels that people put on you. You say, Oh, no, I'm not that. Mm -hmm. Might be a lot of things, but I'm not that. Right. Uh huh. You got to know some things. It says, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. The Spirit searches everything. Yeah. 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. You know, I thought about a lighthouse. If you've ever seen a picture of a lighthouse, it has a light on the top, and it goes around and around and around. 
The word of God is like a searchlight. Mm -hmm. It searches us. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 says, But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Yeah. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Mm -hmm. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. Yeah. For the spirit searcheth all things, yes. yea, the deep things of God. Yes. And that's, that's a blessing. Yeah. Proverbs 28, 26 talks about it's a fool that trusteth in his own heart. We don't want to be like the uh, one man that went up to pray. There were two men that went up to pray. One was so self-righteous, he said, oh, I thank God I'm not like these others. I fast and I tithe. And, you know, he was self-righteous. Mm -hmm. But then this poor publican tax collector ended up saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. It said that man went down to his house justified more so than the others. Right. So we don't want to be self-righteous. No, no. Jeremiah 17. Because the word of God says all of our righteousness before him is as filthy rags. Yes. Yes. We've been made the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. Yes, not of ourselves. Thank you, Lord. Jeremiah 17, verses 9 and 10. Says the heart is deceitful okay. above all things and desperately wicked. Oh Who okay. can know it? Okay. Uh -huh. But listen to verse 10. I, the Lord, search the heart. Too. I try the reins. I too. test the innermost does. parts does. of you. He does. Even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. Yeah. God won't get it wrong. No. When yeah. he searches, he does a thorough search. But it comes through the word. Yeah. Psalm 119. Sister Pamela, your Psalm 51 went right along with the message. Mm -hmm. Psalm 119. And this is why we should not ignore the word of God as it's coming forth. Right. Psalm 119.9. And thank God for our young people today. Second Sunday Youth Day. Psalm 119.9 says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Mm -hmm. By taking heed thereto according to that word. You got to hear this word. Take it in. The psalmist said, With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. The word is so important. Yeah. The word will either draw you to Christ or it will drive you. Right. But the word, if you take heed to it, it will do you some good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Verse 105. No, I'm going to go to 89. It says, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Yes. Psalm uh, 119, 105 says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. We don't know where we should go or what we should do without the word of God. We would not know how to live. Right. That's why Satan works overtime to keep people from hearing the word of the Lord. But we've got to be doers of the word and not hearers only. Otherwise, we're like a man that beholds his face in a mirror yeah. and then walks away from the mirror and forget what sort of person they are. But this word will help us. This word will clean us up. Right. This word will build right. us up yeah, yeah, and yeah. give us an inheritance among those that are sanctified. Oh, yeah. Jesus said in St. John 6 and 63, the flesh profits nothing. He said, the words I speak unto you, yeah, yeah. they are 
spirit and they are life. That is power in the word of God. You can't even be saved without hearing something about the word. How can you believe in somebody you've never heard of? And how can you hear without a preacher? It takes the word to save us and it takes the word to clean us up. Yes. Hebrews 12. And I'm not going to read it all for the sake of time. But it talks about how we have to endure chastening or correction when it comes to the word. Because if, if we don't, it tells us ye are bastards or illegitimate and not sons. Verse 6 says of Hebrews 12 says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, it don't feel good. When you endure something, it's not pleasant. Okay? But if ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons, for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, the word finds us all. Yes, as yes. Sister Patrick would say during a prayer request, from the pulpit to the door, mm -hmm. the word finds us all. It does too. Okay? And I kind of paraphrase the rest of that. Furthermore, we had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness, now, no chastening. We just got to tell the truth. The word is quick. Yeah. I'll go there in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts. It, it cuts. Yeah, it does. It now, does. no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, mm -hmm. but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness yeah. unto them which are exercised thereby. God bless you, Janae. The baby is really growing. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Yeah. You know, don't go home and sit down, and I'm not going back there anymore. No, you let it help. Let the burner Yes. of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yes. So even when our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart. Yes. And he knows all things. That's in 1 John, the third chapter. But the word will find us all. Yes. And when it does, all we've got to say is, God help me here. Yes. Yes. And try to not be found there the next time it comes around. Verse 13 says, Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Okay. We can't hide anything from God because he's all-knowing, all-seeing, and an all-loving God. Yeah. Verse 14 says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession or our confession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. That's why he can be our savior. There was no sin in him. There was no guile or deceit in his mouth. That's why when they were examining him, they found no fault in him because there is no fault in Jesus. None. They couldn't find it because it wasn't there. 
It says, let us therefore come boldly yeah. unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to Lamentations, the third chapter. I'm almost done here. Not going to prolong the time. Lamentations 3, the book of Lamentations, verses 39 through 41. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Search me, search me, Lord. Yeah. Turn the light from heaven on my soul. Lamentations 3.39 says, Wherefore does a living man complain? A man for the punishment of his sin. Let us search and try our ways. And turn again to the Lord. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto God in the heaven. Sometimes people lifting up hands, but they're not lifting up their hearts to God. Man looks on the outer appearance, but God looks on the heart. We're going to end with Ephesians 5, but the word of God is so important. Yes. How would we know how to live without the word of God? We wouldn't. But I thank God he left his word on record yes. to show us the yes. way, Read it. to yes. show us how to live this life. And it is a lifelong process. It is. I don't know of anybody that can say I've arrived. No. I've got it all right. No. no, no. Help us, Lord. When the word finds me, help me here, Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, the word doesn't come to kill us. It comes to build us up mm -hmm. and give us an inheritance among those that are sanctified. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Ephesians 5, and I think I'm done when I'm done with this. Ephesians 5, verse 25, says, Husbands, no, I can't do that. I've got to go up to 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. You don't want to be submissive or subject then don't marry. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. But marriage is a good thing. It is. It's honorable. It is. It and the bed is undefiled. It's like a whoremonger, adulterous, God will judge that. So marriage is a good thing. And it tells the husbands, love your wives. Mm -hmm. Even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify set it apart, and cleansed it with the washing of water by the word. It's the word, it's the word, it's the word. We can't get around it. Uh -huh. This word is going to meet us at the, in the day of judgment. Yeah. That he might present it to himself a glorious glory, church, glory. not having spot uh -huh. or wrinkle. Or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blame. Search me, search me, Lord. We all need to ask God to do that. And when he finds something that shouldn't be, take it out and straighten me. I want to be saved. I want to be, I got to be whole. Search me, Lord. There's nothing wrong with asking God to search us. Because sometimes we can lean to our own understanding. When the Bible tells us, lean not to your own understanding. But in all of your ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. Young people, pay attention to the word. Because that's what's going to clean you up. Mm -hmm. And say so, that's Proverbs, the third chapter. Mm -hmm. But that's what's going to clean you up. Okay, save you. And saints of God, that's what's going to clean us up oh, yeah. and make us ready to meet the Lord. I'm getting ready to meet the Lord. That, that song just dropped in my spirit. I'm getting ready to meet the Lord. So saints, I admonish you today to eat this word. Yeah. 
Yes. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. We're getting ready to meet the Lord one day. We want to meet Jesus in the air. When he comes to rapture his church, we want to be in the number. God bless you and love you all. I know the Bible is right. And I know the Bible is right. Somebody's wrong. Somebody's wrong. Somebody's wrong. You can read the Bible. Read it through and through. Yes. When you finish reading it, it's, it's talking just to you. I know the Bible is right. Somebody's wrong. I know the Bible is right. Somebody's wrong. I know the Bible is right. Somebody's wrong. Somebody's wrong. Somebody's wrong. Hallelujah. Search me, yes. search me, Lord. You read that Bible, you should not get searched oh, yes. through the Word of oh, God. Yeah. That's why the verse in the song says so you can read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Read it through and through. Yes. But when you finish reading it, it's talking yes. just to you. Amen. Search me, Lord. Amen. Beautiful Word. Because I want to be searched by the Word yes. of God. Yes. Quick, sharper than any two-headed sword. Good word, good word. We have the conference call number. The number is 667-770-1737. Access code is 274-487-POUND. We're there on Tuesdays at 12 o'clock for a 12 o'clock prayer. Wednesdays at 6 o'clock for a Bible study. And Friday nights. 6 o'clock for our praise and worship service. So if you're not doing anything those days and those times, dial the numbers. And there's something going on on the conference call line because we know the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. God bless you until we hear from you again.